to make a simple mission, open the editor and pick new. This button here is the menu. So you can load existing missions, for example, Terrace Hunt on this particular map or uplink or whatever, and you can make your own. So cancel new, yes. Yeah. Give it a tag, so it's filtered out in the list of all missions. Uh, let's try it this way. Team core version doesn't matter. Yes, your mission doesn't even have a script yet, and the script is controlled by this button here. You can create it, you can select an existing script, or you can refresh your script if you change something in it while editing the mission. So we need to create it. Anyway, I'll just name it my mission. Press yes. Let's place down something. Oh, first of all, player start. What is the difference between player start and insertion point? Player start is where your character spawns initially when the mission loads. Usually this would be in the ready room. But since I'm just testing stuff, I don't need to start in the ready room and then click on the uh, on the mission board to spawn in. I can drag the player start over here. So this is where I'll, I'll spawn when mission loads from the menu. And you can also grab a spawn protection volume, place it here. Uh, to change its dimensions, you just click on it. And then you use these buttons here. So this one is move, this one is visibility, and this is change dimensions. So red over here, green over here. Anyway, so we have spawn and we have the protection. Now let's talk about AI. Okay, so we drag the AI spawn point over here, drop it here, and then we select it. And we have a bunch of properties over here. First of all, you don't touch the loadout thing. It's broken currently. We need to remember this 100. This is relative to, to the file, to the script file. We will need to set it up. Character class doesn't really matter. I'm not sure what it does currently. Probably controls a bunch of uh, properties like voice lines and shit. We're not really <clears throat> interested in that for the moment. Priority is used in different files for prioritizing which AI spawn when. It's used for sorting uh, AI locations. Currently not bothered with that. We're not doing anything like that. So at this point, we're already uh, prepared to launch the mission and work with the AI. There are several issues though. First of all, the Lua file that I created is currently uh, broken. But first, let's just save this thing. Save as my mission, display name, blah, 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 yes. So now I can see that my mission file is ready. And the Lua file is called my mission as well. So basically, if I restart the mission, I should see the AI staying in, in this place. OK, so over here in the mission list, I have a new entry. Aside from intro retrieval and Cherry's Hunt, I now have a new mission. That's the one I created. Here it has my tags, cop and team. The problem is all of the missions will have this missing string table entry for now. You can fix it in the CSV files in the game folder, but it's not a trivial tax, so we'll skip it for now. It will spawn me right into the map. And there's nothing there. No AI spawned. Hmm. Wonder why. This is to do with the file that we got uh, to generate when I press the Lua thingy. I'll just show it again. Edit mission. You can see that the spawn is still there. It just doesn't work for some reason. And this is the file I'm talking about, my mission.lua. So let's take a look at that file and see what's wrong with it. Uh, the first hint at what's wrong is this line over here in the logs. 
it says that there's a problem with the my mission.lua file and it's in the line number 13. This is the interesting part, the GS. Here, here's the file that, that was generated automatically. This is how it looks by default. It has nothing in it that would spawn the AI to begin with. So to spawn the AI, you need to add something to it. And that's what we'll do next. But first, this is the GS we're, we're, uh, we're seeing in the log. This is the problem. It's not the only problem with this file. We'll just go step by step and see how to fix it. Basically, we need to open existing missions and see what it says there. So let's just remember the get all actors of class thingy and open Terrace Hunt. Terrace Hunt also has it. It has get all actors of class right here, right in the top portion of the file. Basically, this is a function that's being called when your mission loads loads through and everything that's inside this function gets executed and over here we can see that it doesn't say gs dot get all access of class it says gameplay statistics so it's a fair assumption to make that if we copy the gameplay statistics thing and port it over here instead of this and then save the file it should work we need to go back here, create, select, refresh. Refresh is what I'm I'm currently interested in. I press refresh and it should change something in the log. Resetting the mission, we have a new error. It's basically the same thing. Lua error, blah, blah, blah. My mission, Lua, only it's a different line now. It's line 15. And it says again, attempting to call a new value and it says which value. It's a global variable called set game rule. Let's look at that. So set game rule is over here. Basically, it should be accessible from any Lua script that we could ever want to write. The problem is it, it isn't accessible currently, so Chris forgot to hook it up. Uh, we're looking for use ready room or something like that. Something to do with game rules. Terrace hunt, game rules, use ready room. There we go. Game mode dot at game rule. So currently Chris uses uh, other functions, other objects to do the same thing. And we don't want that. First of all, I don't want to use ready room just yet. We just need to remember that this thing is over here. This is what we need if we ever want to use the ready room for our mission. Currently, I don't care for it. So all I need to do is delete them. And this will solve all the Lua errors, but it doesn't do anything really. So again, we go back to terrorist hunts, blah, blah, blah. And look how we can spawn AI, because that's what basically I want to do. So to spawn AI, we look at how Chris does it. Chris uses GBI spawn point, which is that thing, uh, the capsule that we dragged over. So we need to get all spawn points, just like it's done here. And we need to port it over here. Actually, we don't need this for now. We can delete it. And now we need to use these all spawns to spawn AI. And here we have spawn up for. This is what we need. Create AI over duration. This is what we'll use currently for testing purposes. So we copy over this line, go back to my mission, paste it here, and we just pick all spawns, paste it here to say which list of spawns we need to create uh, up for count. This has to be a variable in this file, particularly in this list over here. So we will need to create it. We'll, we'll just grab it from Terrace Hunt again. Let's go all the way to the top, up for team ID, up for team tag, up for max count, up for count. This is what we need. We'll just grab this. Copy over here. Uh, max count, we don't care. We just care about spawning a particular number of AI for now. So we should be ready to go. Here we are in the mission. So the AI should spawn right over here. As you can see, they're here, but <laughs> they're not doing anything. They're just running away from me. And the reason is in the log files. We need this capsule here, the spawner. We can see that these guys don't have any loadouts associated with them. <laughs> Problem is, 
even if I pick a loadout, it won't apply because it's broken currently. For some reason, you can see it here. It says AD guys slash bad guys one, two, three, bad guys gunner, etc. The game will look in a folder called AD guys, blah, blah, blah. The problem is there is no such folder. Two ways of dealing with it. I'll show both. You can see the problem over in this line right here. Could not find file, blah, 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 ground branch, content, ground branch, AI, loadouts, dot kit. So by default, when you have an empty loadout for your bot, it will look for, a, for an empty kit file in the loadouts folder of the game. Open up the contents folder, ground branch, and we need the, which one is it? AI loadouts, AI loadouts. Here it is. And you can see that the folder is called bad guys, not ad guys, like in the editor. So that's the first problem. We can make a default file with some kind of loadout for them. So we take any one of these. Let's take number one. Go back to loadout, paste it here. Problem is it has to be named dot kit. If we try to save it like this, oh, actually it's saved. What the fuck? Shouldn't. Well, in case it doesn't save it like this, you just need to put a dot after it, save it. That's one way of dealing with it. So this way, if I reload the mission, the AI will have weapons. Also notice these uh, warnings. Uh, the capsule doesn't spawn one AI only. As you can see in the game, it spawns several of them, but some of them won't be able to spawn because they will collide with the with the geometry of the mission of the level. So you have to keep that in mind. Restart the level. Let's see if they're armed. Hey guys! Oh shit! So as you can see, they have weapons. It works. So now the other way, how do you enable the editor to pick up all of the loadouts? As you can see, they all have their AKs. What if I want to change this guy? I need his loadout to change. How do we make it say bad guys, not AD guys? Well, very simple. We need to rename the folder. We go back here, we take this bad guys, copy it and rename it. Some line in front. Any symbol just so that it gets eaten by the editor when processing the, the folder name. As you can see, I changed the loadout. And it, they all now have EBRs because changing that folder in the loadouts subfolder enables me to pick the proper string for them. So when the game looks for the loadout, now it will look in the bad guys folder, which already existed there. It just uh, wasn't accessible to the game, but now it is thanks to that extra uh, line I put in in the front of the file uh, of the folder name. So I can make snipers out of them, shotgunners, whatever. It unfortunately doesn't update right right away. So let's pick bad guys to see what he has. Again, save. Oh, not save as. Save. Yes. Then restart mission. Go back in. As you can see, they now have a case with the optical sight. This way you can set a loadout to one particular spawn. And if you want to change how many AI spawn uh, right here, you have to use 
this string over here. So you don't just take all of the AI spawns to your script and just enable them. You pick the particular one, in this case, all of the zeros and one in the end. You have to match it in your script. And then for him, you can change a different loadout. So you have some variety in your enemies. Uh, similarly, you, you can change their orders, like you can tell to patrol, to guard, whatever, to idle. You can split them into squads to control what they do during the mission in the script again, uh, squad wise, etc. So that should be enough to get you started. And we'll talk about patrols and guarding next time.